Okay, so I have the lovely Petra right here. Yes. And she is going to give me your what? My best watch. The best watch. The best watch all over the world. A gift from her husband. A gift from her husband. She must have a really nice husband. Yes. Because look what she gets. I need to get one of these. Okay, so take a look at you guys. Just here, yeah, let's take a look under the light. So you guys can see. You know, she's been wearing it, so it's got scratches around the dial, you know, along the links, and as well as the clasp, you know. We'll go ahead and clean up all of that really quick, and I'll maintain the original finish and all the angles of her Rolex. So, honestly, we're working on the gold, so I'm really not going to use anything basically besides my felt wheel and my high polishing compound. And if I see if I need more, I'll, I'll tell you guys uh, during the process. But it's brand new, so you guys are going to take the journey with me. So here we go. And again, using the felt wheel, and this is going to run very even. You see how flat it is? So there's going to be zero vibration on her watch. So you don't need to remove the movement. Like, look, do you see this? It's like super smooth, super smooth. Like this is my hand and it's unaffected. If anything is polished. So I'm just going to give it a little compound and we'll start doing the dial. Here we go. Okay, ready and go. So let's go ahead and see how the scratches are progressing. Oh, very nice. Look at this. We're just gonna go over, and we're not affecting any of her units per, oh, but already we get a polish. Now again, you know, if you want this perfect without any scratches, you just go over it a little bit more. But for the sake of the video, like see if I wanted to get rid of more scratches, you just hold it there for a second or two more. But I just want you guys to see that we're already at this polish. You guys see that? And I haven't compromised the angle at all. Everything is still factory and I'm gliding over the numbers. That's all I'm doing. Just gliding over the numbers. And there we go. Just, just a quick little glide right over. Nice and clean. We're not dragging the numbers. If you notice, there's no drag lines off of the seven, the five, or any of those little lines down below. It's just a beautiful, perfect polish. Again, like I said, you have more scratches, you guys. You know, this is a video of showing how to do it. You can do it in the comfort of your own studio. But do you see how the light is following it? That's what you want. That's factory. And so again, we're going to do this side. And we just keep going and going and going. So she has a really bad pit right there. So you just hold it there just a little bit longer than usual. And you get the pit out. That's it. And if it's a really deep pit, I would recommend using our Scotch Bright unitized wheel. I'm going to leave that there only because it's not that. You see that? Look at that. Oh my God, I live for this. And that's it. So right here. And you know, in my opinion, I want to show something. Like some of the lines, it's not as perfect as one would imagine it to be so perfect. I'm just barely glided over. And you know, it's not exactly the most perfect polish, no offense Rolex, but yeah, because you know what, at the end of the day, they are using a buff and that buff creates waves. Yeah, they, uh, you know, so I do notice, like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can. I see certain waves and I don't get those waves. I'm a perfectionist when it comes to polishing. So if anything, now I want to make sure I'm making it flatter. 
from the original. Just saying, Rolex. There. Now that's more my style. Look at the quality of that polish. Look from uh, 240, 200, and 180. That is sublime. Do you see how the light follows that? That's even all the way. So if I'm taking a little long, sorry, you can fast forward the video if you want. But for the most part, we're pretty much done. And you can hit it with a clean buff just to polish off the rub marks from my compound uh, from my felt wheel. But other than that, we're really nice. And I'll do that later. I'll just hit it with a light buff. But other than that, let's take a look at what we've done already. So we've gone ahead and gotten that entire bezel polished. Without affecting the original angle, the original grind, the original polish at all. Do you guys see that? So I just glided right over and gave it a polish. Now if you think you're going to do it with this or on a little handpiece or a Dremel, good luck. You're going to ruin the quality of this watch. So anyways, so we're going to keep going. I'm actually going to kind of touch up the edges. I noticed her edges. So you can definitely smooth the outer edges and whatnot. But I'm going to show you how to clean up this real quick. I'm, I'm giving you some tips real quick. So here we can polish, but she has some pits. I know that. And I am going to grab my unitized wheel and fine. And this is going to remove some of the deeper scratches. It sounds aggressive, but it's not. What it does is it burnishes. So right here, there, there, beautiful. So those edges were the ones with the most scratches. And then from here, I'll go straight back to the polish. Beautiful. You guys see that? I didn't even notice the size. We were concentrating so much on this. You guys see that? Can we see that? So do you see how we polish the side of that watch? Without compromising the original grind. It still has that dome-ness to it. Wonderful. So we're going to keep going. Let me get rid of the compound. The compound is not my friend. There. Okay. So from here, we're going to do the clasp. So let's take a look at her clasp. See that? Okay, so now I'm going to use my other felt, the felt wheel. And so from here, we're going to give it a nice polish. So we already have a pretty polish right here. What are you looking for? What are we looking for? Oh, chicken. Chicken. Hold on, can... Okay, so from here... Are you ready? We're gonna, so do you see how we're polishing the top? We're not even touching the sides where they're set and finished. See that? What happened? Yeah, let them see it. So 
I can really see every single tiny scratch that is in existence while seeing what I'm doing. I don't care how good you are or how steady you are. You can't achieve this on anything else. I'm sorry. So do you see that polish? Yeah, and then if you have a little bit, like a little point to scratch and you want to make sure you pinpoint it, you can mark it or you can just go over it a little bit more and you can see it. But do you see how gradual the polish is? And that should do it. Look, so there's no more lines, any holes, you see that? And then a light little buff. Here, look, look right here. You see that? There's no more pits. No pits. So we keep going. So from here, now everyone's gonna ask me before I forget to tell you, how are you gonna polish around the uh, Rolex crown? So this is where the green brush that I use all the time in my videos come into play. This is a one micron. This won't even take the sand finish off of the edges, but this is great. The little links just get into all the nooks and crannies and it, and it just brings everything to a brighter polish. You guys see that? You see that? So now, every, and you can even continue. Let's say you just wanna brighten these up really, really quick for a customer. Look at that. Yeah, let's show before and after. So you can, it'll take that yellowness, that brassy color. Do you see how this is much more like yellow gold versus this brassiness above? So you can just keep doing that if you want. Let's actually see what that does. And if I run into deeper scratches, I'll use the belt. Oh wow, but that actually worked beautiful. So you see that? Super clean. And then that actually, that stuff is from, I don't know, whatever I polished before. But that's easily removable, just so you know. Look how quick that comes off. Super quick, just wipe. You don't even need an ultrasonic, super quick. And that's it, so we'll keep going. So here, and if I run into some heavier scratches, I will definitely use my felt to remedy that. And I think I am going to do that for some of this. This is the outer part of where she uses it. So I'm actually going to use So it's really nice for a quick even touch up to remove that brassiness off of your yellow gold on your Rolex you guys. Just this green one micron. Just this alone. And look, you can even touch up the outside edges if you want just to get rid of all that yellow brassiness everywhere into the nooks and crannies. It's gorgeous. Yeah, see? Hold on. Some of, see, sometimes some people's dirt actually comes up when you polish. So give me a second. You know, yeah, it gets swept out of the crevices. That's like, you know, people, people have oils and stuff. Hold on, let me just dry that. Uh huh. So pretty much, let's just kind of give you a little run through of what I've done so far. Now my hands are touching. Okay, so just real quick, Yarl, I want to show what I've done. Yeah, her uh, like lotions and oils are coming out. But for the most part, okay, there we go. I'm gonna hit a buff on the side of that. Actually, give me a second. So we've gone ahead and polished the bezel, as you saw, and I went ahead and I used the green brush to polish the links, and it didn't affect the satin finish, if you didn't notice, okay? 
and we went ahead and used the green brush for the crown and I used the polishing wheel to polish the scratches off of that and you can use the, the green brush if you want to kind of remove some of the line marks if you don't want to use a buff. Do you see how it took off those? And I'll do that right here too. Wow, that actually worked really nice. Wow, that's actually very nice. I was going to use a buff, but I don't think I'm going to use that anymore. So do you see that? Really pretty. Really, really pretty. Very pretty. And so we'll just, if I have like some more scratches are right here. If you guys didn't notice, do you see that? So give me a second and I'm almost done. I just want to use my felt wheel to polish some of her scratches out because I want Petra to have a most beautiful watch because it's her favorite watch of the world. So already Petra, it looks gorgeous, but I just want to make sure some of your scratches on your links are gone because I want it perfect. So just like I was saying, so you just glide right over her scratches. You see that? And you can really see. Beautiful, even. Do you see that? Okay. So there you go. Perfect. So there, and then I just polish it all nice and even. There we go, beautiful. Look how even that is. Do you see that, Yarrow? Do you see that polish right there? And then I'm gonna get closer to right here. Oh, yes. Beautiful, Petra, it's looking gorgeous. Do you see that? See that scratch is removed? Okay, so if I see any more scratches, I'm gonna hit them. People are watching. Okay. So this is a real-time video, you guys. I'm not gonna edit it. So if you wanna watch it to its entirety, you can. If not, you can fast forward to the end. But I just want you guys to see that I don't edit things. This is real-time. Wonderful, you see that beautiful. So again, all the rub marks can be removed with a little cotton buff or you can use the green brush. I'm limited on what I have here. I'm gonna flip it around to get this edge right here. Very nice. Work with me, here. Beautiful. You see that? So we did all that. And I think I'm good. Everything looks good? Okay, perfect. So I'm going to take this one more time. I'm so happy for you. My husband is perfect. Now it's going to, it's really perfect. Let me just get some of your oils out before I do that because that one's going to. So that green brush will kind of bring up people's oils, you guys. So. If you want, it's kind of best to just wipe it down a little. You know, you can be fancy and remove the movement, but really, I hate removing the movement because, you know, if you're not Rolex, good luck on putting that seal back together again. You know, once you open it, it's a different story. So, right here, remember, this is the one that we did. I'm going to use the green brush to bring everything back up to a high polish. See that? Wonderful. So I kind of give it a little rub left and right. Kind of just so you change the rub pattern. And you can do the sides of the links with the felt, you guys. I didn't even do that yet. 
there's just so much you can do the watch has so many intricate edges but you know I'm at a show so I'm, I'm actually showing people how to do this kind of quick and get the idea you can spend more time with it in the comfort of your own shop if this was my watch too I would spend a little bit more time with it but for the most part this is what we got there we go beautiful uh -huh. so I have that you see that you see that right here don't do that I don't like that immediate zoom I like gradual I'll come up see right there you see that okay and then again you can just clean up so this is great also for getting in between do you see how it's become brassy this is great for getting in between the dials and cleaning them up. Look at the look at the difference. Really quick, you guys. Just the difference in that. Just look at it. Just really look. Like it really pops. You know, just so you know. I'll touch it one more time just to get my fingerprints and crap off. Because that's what I keep doing is putting my own fingerprints on. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I even scratched down here. Sorry, my bad. Okay, so other than, oh, let me get in here too. So we got in there. Okay, so again, if you want to polish the sides of this, hold on, just let me show you real quick that it can be done. I don't want to leave one stone unturned. Actually, let me get the one that's a little bit more crisper. So give me a second. I want to be perfect, perfect for Petra. So right here, do you see that? So do you see that? Yes, perfect. Do you see all that nastiness? Okay, so I can use the scotch bright, but I'm just gonna hold it with the felt wheel. Just a little longer. And just kinda, you see how it's pulling because it's like all lumpy. Yeah, watch how there's no vibration in it. There is a small little pit, but I think I'm gonna let that go. If you really want that pit to go, that one right there on the left, you can. Other than that, you'll have that polish. If you really want it to go, you just look here. People comment. Just hold it there. And if it doesn't go, you use the scotch brite. Do you hear me? Remember, this is a high polishing compound. There. It's not, that's, that's as much as it's going to go. It's still there, but who cares? just gonna let it go we're gonna just let it go for now but like I said if you want it gone you use the scotch break yeah let's do the other side oh see like oh sorry this is the other side see that so remember we had this and we took it to that so you know Okay, so was this, so look at the polish, and then this, so before, and then we do the after. And there we go. So it's going to maintain that nice, crisp, flat surface, just so you know. Now, again, like I said, if you want more uh, dip, this is actually very nice. This came out very nice. Look at that. See that? Okay. Yeah, the screen, TV. Yeah, so there you go. So I think we're done. So let's give a quick little zhuzh over everything. I'm going to just clean the edges on any kind of compound that I got up. You can put the band, of course, in the ultrasonic. Right now, like I said, I'm at a trade show, guys. And all I have is limited. I can use the buff, but just for a quick sake, I'm just gonna hit it with the green brush, Yarl, because people are watching. So just real quick, just to give yourself a quick little overview. I'm not gonna touch anything. Because I'm going to give it to her right after this is done. Okay, I'm done. I'm just getting my fingerprints off of it for you, Petra. 
I'm done. I just want my fingerprints off so that it would be perfect for you. Perfect, perfect. I'm trying not to touch it. I could smell your perfume on this, Petra. Mm -hmm. I swear, I smell her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting her, her, her compound. I mean, her own uh, lotions. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Hold on, let me hold that. Okay, okay. So, you guys, take a, let's take a look at what we did. We're done. Now, I'm going to give it to Petra, but I just want to show you guys what I've done. Let's recap. So, we polished the entire bezel, and I've kept the original. Do you see how the light is following you guys? Where am I going? Oh, this is positioning me. Oh, oh, so under the camera. Okay, so we polished the entire bezel. And it looks like a new watch. Yes, it is. It's like a new watch. A new watch. And so, hold on, let me go. Yes. So now you have the love again. Yes. So right here, and then we did the um, we did the links. Do you see the links? So this is. I'll take an after picture too. So right here, let's give it to Petra. Meg, look, your mom is gonna get her watch. Thank you. It looks so very nice. It's a gorgeous, so now she gets to wear it. She doesn't let me keep it. She's got to have it back. So they, take a look. Don't put your fingerprints on it. Look, and look at the clasp. You can look at it. Very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. And remember, we didn't put in the ultrasonic. We didn't remove the movement. She's walking off with it. Petra looks happy. She's very nervous before. But look, wow, 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 wow. Thank you. You're welcome. Wow, so nice.